Okay, one of the last steps we've got. So I'm going to do, I've had the um, cylinder head off the machine and I've painted black all over the face of the head and I've had a head gasket lined it up with the dowels in the head and um, traced around the outside of the actual ball binder of the gasket which gives us our um, exact centralization of the cylinder. So what I'm going to do is actually relieve the side of the combustion chamber out to the actual edge of the head gasket so it's like nice and blue printed everyone's exactly the same and also by taking a bit out here we do sacrifice a little bit in compression which we'll make up in other areas so that's not a problem but there's an immense uh, improvement made in flow and um, when you're talking about flowing heads it all comes down to the more flow the more torque the engine's going to produce and uh, ultimately the more power so what we'll do I've um, another tool I've actually modified it was a 90 degree um, try and get it against the background that's if we go it's, it was a 90 degree tool what I've done is ground at 20 degree angle on the flat of it building up into a nice large radius so that's going to be the corner of our combustion chamber and will flow greatly around our valve so we'll put this in it's a bit hard trying to uh, hold it in one hand and machine in the other but get away with it okay Okay, we'll a um, bit of noise and we'll just turn it on and we'll slowly feed the tool down the side of the combustion chamber and relieve our um, combustion chamber beautifully relieved and nicely rounded around the edges and um, yeah, we'll have beautiful flow around our valves. So you can see gets taken out and we'll start getting bigger and bigger as we get to the bottom into that corner and also with that 20 degree angle I put on the bottom there that will feed into our top cut at 30 degrees above our seat. So in actual fact, right here now, you're seeing a five angle seat job. We've got 20 degrees, nice radius, and 20 degrees into 30 degrees, into 45, our actual seat, then into a 60 degree, and then finally going into the throat, 70 degrees. The more degrees, the more angles you can put on something, the more of a radius it has and therefore the more flow around your valve and it's just sitting having one big angle and a sharp 90 degree bend. So that's all there is to um, relieving combustion chambers. And um, we'll um, leave this now and um, Think about um, CCing the combustion chambers so we can see how much volume we have and we'll work out what sort of compression ratio or uh, what sort of piston height we're going to attain to get the 10, 10 to 1 compression ratio we desire. So we're getting there very slowly but surely.